everyone and welcome to day 20 of the 28 day British accent challenge. If you've been following all the videos from day one, well done, this is excellent progress. We're going to do a review today. We're going to look at some of the consonant sounds we've been working on over the last week or so, because I think it's very important to review sounds from time to time. We're going to look at sounds which require different parts of the mouth. We're going to look at n mm and l, which require the tip of the tongue to touch the tooth ridge. We're going to look at s and u. TH sounds, which require the tongue to touch the teeth. We're also going to look at u, which requires the lips to come forwards. It's a voice sound, and we obviously need to focus very much on the vowels. And we're going to look at the sounds we covered yesterday, the g, k, and mm. So quite a lot to work on. We're going to just do a bit of a warm up, and then I'll give you some directions, and we'll do some sentences. So we'll go more or less straight into sentences, just a couple of words for each sound. Okay, so when you're ready, nice deep breath and ho-hum. Ho-hum. Big stretch, lifting the soft palate. If you're struggling to work the soft palate, please do do the straw exercise. So you drink through a straw wherever possible and this works a soft palate really, really well. Another great exercise for all these sounds requiring the tip of the tongue to move forwards is to place the tongue in the middle of the palate. And if you hold something up there like a small sweet or something, that's even better. And we'll just do one more exercise to really work the cavities in the back of the mouth. We're gonna do some chanting. Mm -hmm. chant you can also sing. Singing is a really good exercise for working those cavities in the back of the mouth. Okay let's make a start. So we're going to start on n and l. As you know these sounds vary according to their position in the word. So it's not very light today. Not very light. I'm placing my tongue on the tooth ridge, the palate side. So it's almost where the palate starts to slope up not light. It's not light today. Whereas if I have an N at the end of a word, like for instance the word down, it's a little bit different because you have to remember to release the tongue at the end. Down. And you have to remember that the mouth needs to be slightly open. Okay? So just because you can do one doesn't mean you will necessarily be able to do the other. You might just need to slightly modify your position and the movement. Well, I hope you're all still going strong. Next sentence. Well, I hope you're all still going strong. So we've got some L's there. Well, and the tip of the tongue stretches in the direction of the tooth ridge. If it brushes the tooth ridge, it touches it very, very gently, that's excellent. But it doesn't necessarily need to touch the tooth ridge for all of these L endings. Well, I hope you're all still going strong. Good, excellent. Let's move on. THs. I thought a thought. I thought a thought. Now this is the voiceless, known as the soft TH. It's aspirated. The tongue comes to touch the front teeth, the inside of the front teeth, and we allow the air to pass out of the mouth. Thought, thought. I think so. And then moving on to the voiced TH. So this means that the tongue again touches the inside of the front teeth, but the air is passing over the vocal cords. There they are. There they are. There they are. And you probably heard the link between they and are. There they are. We do repeat this and do your best to follow my intonation, my rhythm, 
And whenever I link words, there they are. There they are. So the first word is on its own and the second two are linked together. Now this is a voiced sound. It's perhaps one of the most challenging for most people because the lips come forwards, yet we must focus on the vowels. So the lips come forwards and we tighten the muscles around the lips. Were. And then we focus on expansion for the vowels. So there's lips come forwards and we use these muscles and then we relax the lips back and we focus on the vowel resonating very fully in these cavities at the back. Where were you? We were at the other side of the world. And really focus on expansion. That's gonna help you to get through the whole word and not to get blocked or stuck with resonance too far forwards in the mouth. So really focus on expanding. I met a wise woman in the West Indies. We're going to look again at k, g, and m, which we did yesterday. Now you just have to remember that the tongue comes up to close off the air passage for k and g. That means we then release, there's a release mechanism, and the air either passes over the vocal cords for g, or out of the mouth for k. Obviously when we have the aspirated, breathy k, we need to use these muscles here to control the airflow, otherwise too much air is going to rush out. For the n, mm, we're just holding the back of the tongue up there and we're not going to release, we just finish the word up there. The little challenge for the n mm is to make sure you fully pronounce the vowel first. A lot of people rush to the end and get something like sung rather than sing. So make sure you pronounce the vowel and then go into the last consonant sound. Okay, when you're ready. I can't go out this evening. What are you going to do? Great, I'll come over to your house. What are you doing tomorrow evening? Do you still go swimming on Monday evenings? So find every opportunity to practice. The more you practice, the more quickly you're going to process all of this information. And also it's a matter of working those muscles in the mouth. If you're not used to using those muscles that we're using now, like for instance, the expansion of the back of the mouth, then it's gonna be a bit bizarre to start with. But the more you practice, the easier it will become. Well done for getting to day 20. If you like this video, please do like it. And as you know, if you're in a hurry to look ahead at the 45 sounds in the International Phonetic Index and all other elements of developing a British accent, then you can head over to my membership site. The link is in the comments box below and you will get a seven day free trial when you follow this link. And included in this will be access to a library of over 60 videos and an invitation to at least one group coaching call. There are two group coaching calls per month. Thank you so much, see you tomorrow.